In a world searching for gleaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing another episode of Subsistence 5. Subsistence on Season 5. Hope you guys have enjoyed this content. And I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I've uh, been building all night. I was having a, a frame drop issue. I've started this episode twice already. Uh, because I keep, I keep having a frame drop. So I restarted my whole computer. And we'll see if we can uh, fix it. It seems to have gone away. But I'm definitely getting a frame drop when I look at my base. That's not good. I can lower graphics down, but I'd hate to have to do that. Mm. All right. Um, ooh, stuff needs to get watered and ash aside. Add ash. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely getting frame drops now. Oof. All right, I'll have to do something about that. I've um, got water. I've got ash. Let's grab one more water. Hmm. Well, you know, the game isn't optimized, and we all know that. It's a game in alpha, so there's bound to be some issues. Well, I had one canteen to each. That should fill them up mostly. All right, cool. Yeah, my tomatoes are almost done. I'll have to start another uh, run of tomatoes right away. Hmm. Hold on. Graphic settings. I am on. I think I wasn't even on ultra high. I'm not even at the max, which I normally play at. Let's do this to draw distance medium shadow to ultra high. Okay. Okay, at least it's smooth again. There we go. Yeah, it's draw distance that's the thing that usually kind of tanks me. Let me go ahead and get the that rabbit cooking. And put away these other supplies. I went ahead and made another pickaxe. I'll show you what I did. I mean, you pretty much knew what I was going to do. I, you know, I told you what I was going to do. Now I'm going to show you what I did. Hold on. Used up a lot of water yesterday, and I suspect I'll be using up a lot of water today as well. I went ahead and took out the full wall uh, floors here and put half floors all the way around. So my walkway, I need one corner ceiling just to finish that off to make it look neat. Not, you know, not neat as in, oh, that's neat. More like, look good. I'll put it that way. Look good. There we go. All right, a little, a little snacky poo to keep me going. And I'll leave that burning so it's uh, rendering the fat. I need to get food. I need to get water. I want to... As I say, I need to find fruits and vegetables. Any extras I find would be nice. But I've got a ton of fruits and vegetables about to hit my, hit my tummy in the way of fresh tomatoes. And it's going to rain. Oh, that's nice as well. That'll keep my planters uh, topped off. I just topped them off, so that's good. Now, the rain will fill a planter. If you put an empty planter out and it rains, the water will start going up. I'm not going to say it's going to fill in a single storm, but they it will start to fill up. Now, if you have eight plants in there, the eight plants are using up enough water that you might not see them going up. You might like... I don't think it's going up. I can't see it. It's going to go up and down, up and down. As the plants use some water, it goes back down. As it rains, it goes back up a little bit. But I still think it's a slight, very slight gain during the rain. Speaking of food, there's a walking smorgasbord right there. So I do want to check how many arrows. I have 12 arrows left. Need to make some arrows. And yes, I know. I kept talking about, hey, don't worry. I'm going to check my uh, my BCU and I'll use the power to craft something. I never did. I crafted a power storage unit literally as soon as I stopped recording in uh, the last episode. I mean, literally. I stopped recording and went, oh, that's right. And I went ahead and crafted it. So I crafted it in place. I've got power storage. I need to get a mass storage up. 
And the first thing I'm going to be going for is the Recycler. I think that that's uh, necessary so that I can start using up resources that I'm not using. Pickaxes that are just about to break, I'll get some mass out of those. Uh, wood would be a good way Ooh, to get mass. Oh man, look at this. Triple ore node right here. Nice. Iron. That looks more like potassium. This looks like potassium. It is. Okay. This one's iron now. That's why ore rock is so awesome. There's just so many ores on this rock. And they cluster. Which makes it even nice. Because you can get them sometimes without even moving. There we go. Oh man, more ores. I see a bear over there too. Need to be careful. Don't want to piss off the wildlife. And I had suspect that today might be hunter base number two. Should start spawning in. I don't have a tower to climb up in to look around and try to spot campfires. You know, either rogues or uh, base building hunters. So it's just going to be, ooh, I run into them. Ah, here they are. Let me get this bag. Ooh, an apple. Thank you. All right, good, 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 good. I want to keep these trees available for me to chop. So I really should put a foundation over here. Um, I know in the past, if you had a foundation down, it stopped the hunters from spawning around that area. And if I was smart, before I ever placed the BCU, I would have placed foundations at the bases of these trees. So one, I could, you know, chop them safely at night. Mostly safely at night. And two, I keep hunters from building near them. But I'm not smart, and I didn't do that. So we're just going to play the odds and see what happens. Just checking the area out. Yeah, I like that so much better. Now it does, it's not hanging out so far that it's like, you know... Like WTF, dude. I think it's just, now it looks more. It seems to fit better. And I have an idea. I'm gonna probably enclose the back up here and put a, at least put a roof on it. I'm glad you can do that. That's I like that. All right. So this chicken can stay here. It's still fresh. I'm gonna eat the apple that I just got. Drop off that little bit of wood I picked up. Putting some fiber over here to make fiber bricks. I'll have two sets of fiber. One I keep in this one, and one I'll keep in the other. I could use dirty water to top off the uh, plants. I don't have to use clean, but. Already clean, yay. Now this is the tedious part because Almost as soon as I put them in here and I do anything else, I look back. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Why? Oh, I was going to say, why is it taking longer for my power to go? It's not. It's just I have extra power. I can get up to 1,000 now. That's why it just looks like. Okay. I'm not going to get over 1,000. But yeah, I want to put a roof on here. That goes across. Probably shouldn't have broken those... Uh, destroyed the other ones yep see it's maintaining it's still going down it but till it's all right but now i'm at 95 and the plants are still growing but the water is still coming in and it's it's about the same level as long as it holds 95 it, it's still awesome those tomatoes should be ready to harvest by the end of the day all right let's get going i still need resources Oh, God. Did I put something on the stove and let it burn? I think I did. Did I have a rabbit? No, I just never cooked my chicken. 
kill you, cook you. Thank you. I was so worried about uh, water that I thought I burnt my chicken or my rabbit. Leave a, a dirty one down here. There we go. I do need to work on storage, but this is what I'm going to do. So storage, power storage, it's all going to be right here. My bed is going to go right here. That should give me enough room. And my crafting bench is probably going to have to go in front of this window. And that's going to be our house. It's going to be a nice, small... And I, like I've always said in subsistence... Jeez. Uh, sorry. You want to you want to build small. Don't overstretch yourself. But I still have this whole area out here. Especially once I close this top off. That, uh, that I can put stuff out there if I want to. You know, power and mass storage could sit out here in, in some way or fashion. I still want to see how the hunters attack my base because all my planning could be for naught if they're attacking from above. But if, it, if, if they start attacking from above, I'll have to put some kind of wall or fence up to... Uh, Stop them from actually getting up there. Figured we'd run over and see what the hunter is up to today. If he's out foraging and... Well, not foraging, but you know, out walking around and I end up crossing his path. I'll probably have to end up killing him, even though I'm not looking to start fights right now. No, he's just staying at his base. Uh, do you have a BCU up yet, I wonder? Like he's got two walls, a foundation, and a staircase. Oh, and he's got his BCU up now. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I need to do. Ah. Oh. oh, that ore's still there. Okay, I thought that ore just disappeared. It's like, ooh, copper. Come on, let me, let me get it, let me get it. Oh, come on. There we go. The game's like, no, you can't get up there. Hence why I like building a bridge across that area. Might as well, since I'm here, you know. Trying to think if sandstone is used for anything but glass i don't know how much of this i need early game i might as well pick some up but i think it would be one of those things that i'm not too worried about at you know this point in the game i'm more worried about getting iron getting the raw resources getting those manufacturing items put together that i really need you know a refinery so I can start making, uh, start processing the ore that I've been picking up, which will, will allow me to uh, build other stuff. Is one of those things I really need to concentrate on. Having glass in my windows is uh, not a priority at this point. But I am looking for a little bit of help. A quick, uh, as we're going by, Fruits and vegetable top off would be nice, and I've come to respect kelp as a as a decent fruits and vegetable source. Not a good one, but a decent one. Ah, lovely, lovely fiber. Always good to see you. I know every day I go look out for fiber, but I'm telling you, fiber is life. Well, everything is life and subsistence, but let's just be honest. Fiber is really, really important. box. It's like the box was moving away from me. You know, I saw the little symbol. I could uh, open it up and then it would like disappear on me. I also wanted to come over here and see if there's any hunters in this area. This isn't too far for a hunter to uh, spawn, I don't think, anymore. In the old days, it would be, but now no, I don't think it's too far. Oh, 
Ooh. I got a trail of boxes. That's usually, you know, I'll follow the trail, but it usually leads me to a bad thing. Oh, I kind of wish I was at the house right now. We could see what the uh, planter was at. By the time we get over there, I am pretty sure the planters would have started sucking down that water. But I bet you it's like 30, uh, 95, 96% uh, filled, is my guess. We'll make a beeline over toward the house real quick. Just to see if I can, uh, we'll check it. I'm also trying to decide. Ah, I got you on the move. Nice. Well, I was moving, you were standing still. I'm also trying to decide if I want to build a walkway over the valley to that other rock across from me. The height looks about right. And that might be kind of cool. Give me a way to exit my base without get it, uh, getting on the ground. I'd have to go through the trees, and that would be kind of odd. But it could be done. 94. Yeah, so it hang, uh, hung out at 9400. This one went to 100%. Well, that's because uh, I have tomatoes. Yay. All right, extract. Two... Three and final replant. But now I have tomatoes. Go ahead and eat that blueberry I had on me. Eat that chicken. It's a celebor celebratory chicken feast. The rabbit was still alive, so he'll get to uh, stay for a little bit longer. Ah, uh, yes, I am happy. That is good. Building up my... I haven't been using my weapons. I'm saving my weapons for hunters. Down to 10 arrows, though. Yeah, I need to make arrows. And cancel that one. Keep five sticks around. I'll make some more. Cash up, actually. Chicken. Take another water. Let's run up here and pop these off real quick. I don't mind. I'm going to make a water run anyway, so it doesn't hurt me to do that. That chicken died, so the timer has started on its body. There's the power storage. Not really being used right now. Oh, and I do have enough, so let's grab this, this, and this. And mass storage. There we go. Mass storage. Crap. I'm running out of boards. I'm gonna need to spend some time getting, uh, getting wood, unfortunately. Maybe tonight's activity will be wood gathering? Spend all night getting wood? Yes, I know how that sounds, and you know what? I don't care. But I gotta spend all night getting wood. Stack these in each other as much as possible. Being round, I can't cheat them, so I can only do so much. Mass storage right in front of power storage, and they're stacked on top of each other. That gives me a lot of room to work with. I still have this area. Probably going to have to put another box up here, though. And this will become my mass and power storage area. Sure. Rendering fat. Oh, fat is done rendering. Um, turn you off for now. I'm doing doing very very well. Plus the heat of the day is coming up, so let's be careful with that. I got in trouble last time. This is so much easier to land on now because I extended this out. 
I said I need to extend this one more bit just to make me happy, make my OCD happy. I want to get railing up, but that's much later. I'm not going to use my metal right now for, oh, look at that. I can't reach it right now. Um, but yeah, I want to use rail. Oh, that's right. I wanted to see if I could, if I could see a way of making a bridge across. Do I have a line that makes sense? And I don't. I mean, I could make a bridge, but like this line doesn't reach over there. It goes over to that walkway over there, and this doesn't reach over here. I'm, I would want a, a line that would make sense. I'd have to build way over there to then have something that goes across. I'm not opposed to it. Or I'd have to try to come over over here and then this way across to it uh, I don't know I don't know I'll I'll see I don't think I can make it work in my head not not well I mean I can make it but it just wouldn't look as good as as I think I'd want it to if I was gonna do it I know that's a lot of of double talk and um, spin speech but I don't know I don't think it would look very good I think it'd be functional. It definitely would be functional. I'd be able to to cross over and I could encompass, encompass. Uh, I could wrap that whole area over there in a wall of some sort and turn it into my, my nighttime wood gathering area. That would be kind of a cool use of that area. You know, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I like the idea. I mean, now that's getting way, that's like when it no longer becomes subsistence, it's more of I've I uh, conquered the world and now I'm just trying to enjoy it and make it easier for myself. Which I'm not opposed to. But I still like to build small. I'll think about it. it that's something that's really down the road. I'd want my main base 100% done, you know, and have a lot of extra restored resources before I started doing things like that saw a rabbit, I think. It was up on this. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm just seeing things. But I'll take the ore. <laughs> Thank you very much. I need as much ore as I can get my hands on now. Oh, there's a rabbit. Shush, don't move. Stand there and get an arrow in the head. Thank you very much. More cloth. Ah, oh, just think about it. Very soon I'm going to have cotton grown. And I can make myself a jacket. Which will help in the winter. Jacket and a sweater. I need to make both. I'm just trying to think if I want... I think I want to concentrate on clothing. Yes, a radiator would help the warmth issue in the winter in the base, but it's the clothing that lets you actually get out and get things done. Oh, it just went over its head. I, I shot that off and had already started running so that when he got hit by it, I would already be on, on the hoof and I'd be, you know, in stride and be able to catch up to him better. I think I'm going deer hunting today. How much time do we have? Oh, we don't have a lot of time. Ah, oh, he's squirrely too. He keeps seeing me. The day's almost over. The shadows are starting to get long. If I'm going to do this, I'd have to have couple head hits I think oh no one over him <laughs> startled the barrel and the barrel spare stood up okay I'm not going after deer today he's getting way too far away I couldn't see that one so I know how far I missed him by and I think it went into this bush now, if you're gonna keep walking toward me oh he stopped he stopped that if he hadn't a stop that arrow would have hit him in the head and there's a good chance that if I got him in the head with an arrow 
Even at level three, that would probably would have killed him. Oh, I can't believe that stupid deer stopped. Okay, I can't shoot today. I just missed a chicken too. Well, you know what? I'm actually doing good on food. I don't know why I'm wasting my arrows going after the food right now. I've got three, three rabbits. <laughs> and I got tomatoes. Now those tomatoes I'm so happy about aren't gonna last very long. <laughs> but as soon as my, uh, as soon as my cotton is done growing, those planters will get transferred over to nothing but tomatoes. And every time I got a cotton seed, of course I'm gonna plant the cotton, but when I have three planters doing nothing but just making tomatoes for me, I'll, I'll be, well, it shouldn't, well, I won't say I shouldn't have to, more than likely, I'll be good to go. Oh, 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 did I actually piss you off or are you just, okay, you're not charging, you're just walking. See, uh, I can't actually use your meat right now, it'd be a waste. Ah, I want an oven. The thing about the oven is to get to the really good stuff, the amount of resources is just, whoa. I don't even have a refinery. I'd have to have a refinery. That refinery probably need to exist in the world for a good month before I would have uh, gotten enough uh, resources from it to be able to uh, craft the oven on its own. You know, I still need the workbench. There's so much to do, but you know, we're getting there. You know, first time I, well, second time I've stopped for uh, get some wood on camera. I think I'll hit two more trees and call it a night. Come on. One more. Oh, fiber. Thank you. I see a bag. I see the bag. I'll get it in a second. I'm just going to keep it in my... I'm going to make sure it doesn't disappear. I'm going to keep watching it. Remember in the old days, it didn't work. It didn't work. Any more? Oh, no. Usually there's an ore on that rock, so I wanted to real quick. All right, how are my plants doing? Oh, these are almost ready. All right, they could they could use a top off, but my main cotton plant planter is almost ready to harvest. That's doing good. I'm up to two hundred and a thousand. All right, I have to start generating power and generating. Um, Mass using a recycler, but that'll be down the road a little bit. Need to be careful. I'm gonna have to make a uh, fire starting kit sooner rather than later. Perfect. Okay, well, it's been a good productive day. Definitely been a good productive day. I think I will spend the day getting, um, or spend the night, I should say, getting to just top off, um, getting wood all night. I'll go across and I'll spend my time in that area, uh, getting wood. But I've been critical. This has been subsistence on season five. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.